Right. Like we need others to hold space for us. That's how it works. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then when there's people who kind of, oh man, I just think about my, my work currently and how many of the clients I work with are so isolated. Mm. It's their fault or others or just where they've, you know, just the family they grew up in, the, the life that they've been given compared to the life I've been given. It's like some people don't have this great history of community and family. Um, and you do see when we, when we try to live life on our own, and even the theology that teaches, like, all you need is you and God. I really, I think both of us would really think that's not, that's not the way God designed it. Right. Um, and so you do see the effects of when you take community away from people and you're just living in isolation, how devastating that is for people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's, and that is one of the uh, hardest things for me to remember and for me to learn is that, um, you know, this idea that uh, I have to seem, you know, strong, independent, uh, capable. Um, well, again, it goes back to this idea of, you know, if we want this to be a really interesting conversation, the, then we can't try to perform well. You know, we can't try mm-hmm. to seem uh, impressive. Mm-hmm. Um, the most impressive thing we can do is to uh, is to be vulnerable and to you know show our quote weaknesses. Um, mm-hmm. You know, Brene Brown is sort of onto something there. Yeah, what what do you think of 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 Brene Brown's work? That's a good. A good, a good conversation to it's share. interesting i i love her work um i don't like her writing <laughs> <laughs> for whatever well, reason I, for whatever funny. reason i don't like her like i i've read i've tried to read her books and they just don't do it for me but i will <laughs> okay. listen to anything that she like any of her speaking i just eat it up i love it so it's it's whatever i don't know why but i just i can't get behind her writing but i love her actual work yeah what do you think has made her so popular right now or the past, you know, since, since her TED talk, I think it was like 2012. Or yeah. I think, I think she's, um, she is speaking to people's souls. If I could put it that way, mm-hmm. that there's, there's something that people have a deep desire to hear because they know it to be true. They know that um, concealing themselves, that hiding from others, that trying to look strong and powerful and in control just doesn't work. It's a bankrupt system. And they want to believe, because they somewhere know it to be true, that if I can be honest and vulnerable with something, that's where the life is. And so when she articulates that in a really compelling way, um, people just latch onto it because they say, finally, that's, that's what it feels like is true. Thank you for saying it. Um, and I think that she just you know, has been able to articulate what people want to believe is true. Mm-hmm. It's amazing to me that, you know, we have everything that we can do with movies and TV and, and just all the advancements in making movies. And there was a stretch when she released like an hour special and she's not like a stand up comedian, you know, she's, she's a right. gifted, teacher. but she does a Netflix special and it's like the number one thing on Netflix. And all it is, is her talking about, vulnerability and shame right right um it is really interesting like i think that does say something about our world how much we long for just authentic people willing to say things that are true like you said speaking of soul like this idea of like you hey have you ever thought about the fact that you're not good enough do you get stressed by 
not being a good enough mom, by not being a good enough dad, by, you know, your performance at work or the messages in your head and how much that relates to so many people. And I do think it probably relates to some people more than others, but I think for most of us, if we're able to admit this, like for myself, like for most of my life, I felt like I was not good enough at anything. Right. And then the feedback that I get from people, if I talk to people from like high school or college or even, you know, current day, the, some of the critique on myself is that I come across as arrogant, which is so not how I feel. Like, I don't feel like I'm better <laughs> than anyone. But a lot of times the feedback that I've received sometimes has been that, that I'm like standoffish. And so that's a terrible feedback for trying to, I don't think that's everybody in my life, but that's terrible feedback if you're trying to start a podcast and people think you're, arrogant and full of yourself which i know many podcasts that that's the critique of those people um (laughs) bigger following than me but i do think that it's just amazing that she's been able to resonate with so many people yeah and 